The White Witch of Rose Hall is one of the most enduring ghost stories in Jamaica. For almost two centuries, tales have circulated about Annie Palmer, an English woman who moved to Jamaica and became mistress of the Rose Hall Plantation. Her cruel reputation and mysterious death have spawned countless supernatural legends that draw visitors to Rose Hall to this day. According to legend, Annie Palmer was born in England but raised in Haiti, where she learned voodoo magic. She relocated to Jamaica in 1820 to wed John Rose Palmer, the plantation's owner, following her nanny's adoption. As mistress of Rose Hall, she allegedly tortured and killed slaves for little reason. She supposedly killed three husbands as well, including poisoning one, stabbing another, and strangling the third in what is called marticide. There was a severe sense of cruelty and isolation in Annie's life at Rose Hall. Despite her small stature, she was a formidable figure, issuing orders from her balcony and doling out harsh punishments at a whim. The legend also suggests that Annie was deeply entrenched in the practice of voodoo, employing it as a means of power and control. This association with darkness and the supernatural earned her the title, the White Witch of Jamaica. After John Palmer's death, Annie took many male slaves as lovers, killing them when she tired of them. In 1831, she set her sights on her slave overseer's betrothed son and murdered him after one night together. Enraged, the overseer used his voodoo powers against Annie, killing her in a struggle. Though he died as well, the remaining slaves buried Annie in a grave meant to contain her spirit. But her ghost still haunts Rose Hall today, according to legend. Sightings of Annie's ghost have been reported at the plantation over the past two centuries. Visitors to Rose Hall have claimed to see Annie riding a black horse through the property at night, dressed in a red velvet dress and whipping trespassers. Eerie footsteps, whispers, and screams have been heard echoing in the mansion's great hall and dungeon. The sounds of babies crying and faint music are also attributed to Annie's restless spirit. One of the mansion's original mirrors is said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity, with reports of Annie's face appearing in photographs. In addition to Annie, some believe the ghosts of tortured slaves still haunt the grounds. The many tragic deaths at Rose Hall during Annie's time are thought to have spawned these supernatural occurrences. While records show the true Anne Palmer lived a normal life, the folklore surrounding the White Witch thrives, with tourists flocking to Rose Hall in hopes of catching a glimpse of Annie's ghost. The continued sightings speak to the atmosphere of suffering and mystery that permeates Rose Hall in the popular imagination allowing Annie's horrific legend to live on as part of Jamaica's cultural heritage. Whether real or not, the ghostly tales are an important part of the historic estate's allure for visitors seeking an encounter with the paranormal. The legends surrounding Annie Palmer and Rose Hall represent broader folklore about the supernatural tied to plantation life and slavery in the Americas. Stories paint plantations as sites of great suffering and death that spawn restless spirits, especially those of enslaved peoples misunderstood by their masters. Annie Palmer in particular is an archetypal villain in Jamaican folklore as a cruel white witch who abused her slaves. The story also underscores the cultural misunderstandings of spiritual practices like voodoo, which were often vilified and associated with evil. Her story has major cultural significance and has inspired many creative works. For example, Johnny Cash recorded a song called The Ballad of Annie Palmer about the legends. While compelling, there is little evidence that the most sensational stories about Annie Palmer are true. Records suggest the real Anne Palmer was a model wife who died of natural causes, not at the hands of slaves. She did exist and was married to John Rose Palmer, owner of Rose Hall. But she was born in England, not Haiti, and no proof exists of murders, voodoo, or an illicit love life. Much of the legend derives from a novel by H.G. Delisser, showing how lore became exaggerated over time. Nonetheless, the legends hold cultural significance. They offer a window into folk beliefs about the supernatural and the perspective of slaves who projected their suffering onto the figure of a white witch. The romantic legends continue to fascinate visitors to Rose Hall today. While historical records suggest that the real Annie Palmer likely lived an ordinary life and died of old age, the legend of the white ghost of Rose Hall continues to captivate audiences. The narrative remains a testament to the power of folklore in preserving cultural memory, offering a window into the past while simultaneously serving as a reminder of the human capacity for cruelty and the enduring hope for justice, even in the afterlife. As a seminal tale in Jamaican folklore, the story of the White Witch of Rose Hall offers insight into local beliefs about the paranormal and the legacy of plantation slavery. While records contradict the legends about Annie Palmer's life, her enduring ghost story speaks to the power of myth and imagination. More than a gothic tale, The White Witch is a metaphor for the haunting impact of Jamaica's troubled past. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos.